Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the uh, the isotropic material and the anisotropic material. And we are going to discuss the difference between these two material. Uh, as you people heard about these two different materials, so I will explain this material one by one with example and diagrams. So the first one is the isotropic material. First, I will define this isotropic material. Isotropic material are those materials are those materials which have which have same which have same or identical which have same or identical properties in all direction in all direction now I will explain this definition with example and diagram. So these are those material isotropic material which have same properties or which have equal properties, identical properties in all direction. For example, if I consider this is any uh, any material, isotropic material, any isotropic material, like for example, isotropic material contains the steel, the metal the metal and glass are the isotropic material so the metal if i consider this is any glass or metal so they have same properties in all direction for example if load is applied in this direction and this is x direction if this is x direction and this is y direction and this is z direction the height so the when the load is applied for example consider this is in a load applied in this direction in the x direction or this is in a load applied in the y direction and this material so this material have the same properties for example they have the same strength they have the, if i divide by the low load and the area of this object so they have the same stress value of this object it does not depend upon the load direction because as i mentioned that this material have same properties it doesn't depend on the direction of load if a load is applied in this direction or in this direction or in which direction but they possess the same properties in all direction uh, the strength uh, the, the strength the stress is the same in all direction the young modulus is same the hardness of the material is same and the strain coming in the and this material is same in all direction and there are the example include the metal and the glass uh, coming in the category of the isotropic material so now coming to the anisotropic material. So now the anisotropic material. The anisotropic material are those material, are those materials uh, which changes properties, which changes properties, which changes properties with direction, with direction. So. This is the opposite of the isotropic material. The anisotropic are those material which changes their properties, which changes their properties with direction. So considering again here an example of wood, the wood is the uh, the wood is the example of anisotropic material. It is a it is a very common example of the wood that it has been treated as the anisotropic material. So if we consider this is any wood. For example, this is in a wood cross section, this is in a wood, circular wood. So, if I apply the load on the, from the, in the transverse direction on the load on the wood, or as well as on the longitudinal direction, so this load and this load, they have different properties. They will show different strength along this direction, and this will show different strength of the wood along this direction. So the material which changes properties, which changes their properties with direction. For example, this load is considered is in the, applied in the horizontal direction, while this is in the vertical direction. So this load strength, P divided by A, or the stress, and this stress in the horizontal direction have different values. They have different values, and they have different values. That's why they are, they are treated as the anisotropic material because their properties are not being same like the isotropic material, but the changes when the load application changes in direction. Their properties like the strength, like the strength, like the young modulus, like the shear modulus, 
uh, like the strain, like the strain and the stress and many other properties, the, all the properties changes with the direction. So this was today's topic about the difference between the isotropic and anisotropic material. And I will upload more videos related to the civil engineering uh, topics. So don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.